I want to go across to Yashovardhan Azad. Uh, because if you are dealing with the kind of character Afta Punawala seems to be, and he's saying the kind of things that he is, I, and I'm no investigator, but just as a layman would wonder, how much of this is true, how much of this is fiction, how much actually happened, and how much is he making up? How do you try and answer that question, Mr. Azad? I think first uh, that he's a real cold-blooded murderer. You know, we shouldn't call him a psychopath or, or depraved, uh, even if he is, because, I mean, that's one uh, legal route his lawyer might take to um, make him es escape from the gallows. Uh, now, this is fairly clear that uh, uh, once they moved from Maharashtra and they were having fights over there and she was in constant communication with her friends and, and, and telling them about uh, the danger that she's in, and yet when they would like to act, she would say not to do anything. Uh, it just shows that the entire thing was planned in, in, in a brutally clear, clear-headed fashion. So today, if, if, we are, if we are talking about this man, number one, he's a congenital liar. And that is why you see when it comes to crucial evidence, he does not give that. Mobile phone of Shraddha, he does not give. The skull, he does not talk about. Uh, the machete which he has used, he does not talk about. So there are some crucial elements which are missing. But I can say this much, that the track which the Delhi police has taken so far uh, is, is extremely positive because one thing which is going to nail him is, is the forensic. And I'm glad you've got a forensic expert here because DNA sampling, which, which from 13 bones or the blood which we have got uh, from, from the table, he, there were also surgical gloves, mind you. This will certainly give something. And apart from this, the menstrua and, and the circumstantial evidence, which is overwhelming, it is also going to favor the investigation. So all in all, I would say that this man is going for a narco test and he has given uh, his, his consent also. The narco test in the case of Kassab uh, gave quite a bit of details and the police would be hoping that, you know, details come out so that it helps the investigation. Because mind you, the narco test does not help much by way of evidence, as Supreme Court has said. So I'm expecting something to come out in the narco test. Number two, something to come out further in the investigation with respect to the machete and these two findings. And third, by way of the DNA sampling, uh, which... Uh, the Rajat Shukla, you are Shraddha's friend. How long did you know her? What can you tell us about uh, her relationship with Aftab Punawala? And what I am concerned about, and I think it's a lesson for everyone who's watching, is that she was in an abusive relationship. Uh, she knew that he tried to kill her. She started crying, so he backed off at that time, but he was clearly entertaining that thought. And yet, for some reason, uh, Shraddha chose not to walk away. First of all, thank you, Rahul, for inviting me. Um, Shraddha and I, uh, we met for the first time in the year 2015. We did our bachelor's in mass media together from a college which is in Vira, which is known as Viva. While uh, pursuing our education, you know, I had, uh, uh, you know, met this girl and she was a very active, outspoken, uh, bold, uh, somebody who was blunt to speak and express herself, you know, this kind of a girl. However, uh, the much I then knew about uh, Aftab was when, uh, you know, she had revealed it to one of her friend, uh, the best friend. Uh, she was also from our college group. In 2019 was when uh, Aftab was introduced, that, you know, Aftab is uh, somebody who, who has entered uh, Shraddha's life. However, uh, it has also been said that you know Aftab was already there since 2018 uh, itself. Now, Aftab used to beat Shraddha, and uh, those things were also revealed from the very start of uh, the revelations made about the relationship itself. Like the revelations were made about the relationship, and then sooner after that, uh, Shraddha also started revealing that this person is very, very violent. And you know these things kept on happening and happening but there must have been a very big reason because of which in spite you know uh, he doing such uh, uh, you know 
brutal behavior with Shraddha. She was staying because Shraddha was not a person who would stay in a toxic relationship. Practically, absolutely not. And she was a practical girl. However, she was still staying. That really made us question. I remember of an incident when Aftab had literally burned her through uh, cigarette butts, uh, her back. And she literally went to her female best friend and she showed it to her. And all we, all we people uh, in the group, we were uh, shockingly surprised and we went uh, to Aftab. You know, uh, I, I wasn't there, but there were a few people who went uh, and they, they confronted Aftab and they, they said they were uh, really, you know, wanting to uh, put Aftab uh, behind bars. However, Shraddha then, uh, you know, said that let's give him a chance. Aftab at that time who looked absolutely uh, a usual guy to people, you know, he was turning out to do these things. He made up stories then that, you know, he would uh, not be doing these kind of things. You know, he says, uh, I'm sorry and all of that. He showed people that he's frightened and all of that. And then, you know, uh, they, they, they thought to really go to uh, you know, Delhi. Uh, shifting to Delhi this thing came up and that this was with regards to job and talking about the job I mean within a week uh, Shraddha became unreachable to us and you know he, he again uh, started making stories the way he used to that uh, you know she's not with me uh, she's, she has already broken off with me and uh, so I remember uh, there was a friend who had informed us that uh, he had messaged Shraddha uh, but the replies that he was getting didn't seem like it's Shraddha talking and then the message that he did at the end was where are you Shraddha are you safe and since then even he didn't receive any reply so we were hoping that you know Shraddha comes back we were hoping that you know she's maybe traveling or something like that but after uh, five months uh, or more than five months we got to know that uh, you know she is brutally murdered